Welcome back, guys. Gainesville Homes Daily. Ryan here. Hope everybody's having a great week. Seven homes on the market right before the weekend here. Before we jump into that, did want to mention that my book is finally finished. Um, the Warren Buffett Approach to Sell Real Estate that you see right here. It's a practical guide to protect yourself from real estate greed and bank an extra potentially bank an extra $30,000 profit by taking a value-driven approach. I'm giving away free copies of this book. So if any of you are looking to sell your home, friends, family member, business acquaintances, whoever it may be, uh, make sure that they do get a free copy of this book before they even consider listing their home. This unique approach is proven time after time and it's yours free. All you have to do is go to the website at getfreebook4charity.com. That's get free book, the number four, charity.com, and you can enter in your name and address and we'll get a free book sent out to you. So be sure to check that out, guys. Um, this unique appro approach, like I said, has been um, proven time after time and it does not fail. So seven homes today. First one is 15066 Gaffney Circle in the Somerset section, 305,000. It's almost 2,200 square feet, three bedrooms, three and a half baths. Uh, we'll go through the pictures, uh, brick front here. Hardwood floors when you come in. This looks like a Ryan Holmes floor plan, as you can see. I actually uh, have a townhouse that I still own. That's exact floor plan as this. Hardwood floors throughout with the rear extension sunroom on this. It's a very nice floor plan, very open. This is actually the exact house that I own um, that I'm currently renting out. But as you can see, you've got the nice extension off the kitchen. So you can use that as a sunroom back there uh, as another little entertainment area, whatever you wish. Master bedroom, good size. Here's the master bath. Looks like a glass enclosure around the shower. Very nice. There's three bedrooms upstairs. House shows very well. Looks like they've taken very good care of this. It was built in 2004. Um, here's the deck out the back, which opened to, to a common area, which is very nice. You don't have somebody directly behind you. It is fenced in as well. Um, I think that this one's a very nice unit. I wouldn't be surprised if this one moves fast, almost 2,200 square feet. Um, I think it's in a good location off of Route 29, uh, so keep your eyes on that one. 6016 Abernethy Lane, Piedmont South, 424900. Tiny lot, 0.097, four bedrooms, two and a half baths. It's got the uh, rear garage on this one. Some people like that, some people don't. But a detached home for under 425, hard to find. Just over 3,400 square feet of living space, vinyl siding, as you can see here on the exterior. Kitchen with uh, Corian countertops and looks like some cherry cabinetry, black appliances. The dining room's got carpet, carpet going upstairs, looks like hardwood in the foyer there. Looks like a view of the back. Um, that it was showing that backyard piece. I was curious. It was an it's an open property for community use back there, so to let kids run around or whatever. It's a nice little feature, a little buffer to have there. Um, you know, it's okay. I, I'm not necessarily blown away by anything, but once again, the price to be in Piedmont, under 425000 with over 3,400 square feet, it's good for that. The lot itself is not very big. That's the only drawback. 5695 Wheelwright Way. This is located in Dominion Valley. It's a townhouse, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, uh, just over an eighth of an acre. It's a, It has the first floor master. Uh, it's the Gladwin model carriage home. Backs to the 11th fairway, so it's at 469500 um, so obviously, you know, you're going to pay a little bit of a premium for Dominion Valley. And then especially if you're on uh, a golf hole here. So it's a two car garage, nice open concept. As you can see, the catwalk looks down into the family room with the vaulted ceiling, hardwood floors throughout, nice neutral paint tones, sunroom with vaulted ceiling as well. Dining room area, master with vaulted ceilings, nice windows, a lot of natural light coming through. There's the kitchen area. Tile backsplash, granite countertops under Mount Sink there. There's a view from up top. Brazilian cherry floors, as you can see. This is on three levels, um, and the basement appears to be unfinished. At least it says unfinished. Um, I was hoping they are going to show us a view of the golf course. Okay, so here you can see uh, the 11th fairway right there, and there's the deck off the back. Deck might need to be power washed and sealed, as you can see. Same with the patio. Um, but all in all, it's a good property. I think a great views of the golf course, 469500 I feel like it's a fair price, um, you know, and many people are looking to live in Dominion Valley. So definitely keep your eyes on that. 
One four two five zero Bakerwood Place is also in Piedmont for five fifteen. Detached Colonial three bedrooms three and a half baths for point uh, just over a quarter acre lot point two seven eight, almost twenty eight hundred square feet. So not huge, um, but twenty one hundred square feet above grade, on a, you know uh, right under a third of an acre lot. So it's a decent lot here. Nice deck out back. The pictures are okay. Um, Sometimes the decor in here might you know pull people away from this a little bit i'm sure it probably shows a little bit better in person and i probably um, think that some of the stuff if it was removed um, from the walls it would give it a completely different appearance but you know okay here 515 not thrilled with the price point with the square footage on this one but um it's it's, it's a decent home 8404 lapizan places in brado wood 435 three bedrooms two and a half baths 2300 square feet located on a cul-de-sac um, I can't tell. It doesn't say whether it's a finished basement or not, so it's hard to tell. We'll try to see in the pictures here. Vinyl siding, two-car garage, hardwood floors, kitchen's got granite, some stainless appliances. Looks a little mix and match for appliances. A nice fenced-in backyard there. Built in 1998, so a little bit older than some of the other ones. Some interesting wallpaper throughout here, which could deter people a little bit. Eat-in kitchen area. Lots of cabinet and counter space, that's for sure. I think mainly your big thing is going to be cosmetically ripping out uh, potential drywall or painting, unless this is your style, of course. Um, but I tell people to kind of tone it down when you're trying to sell your house a little bit because most buyers, it's easier for them to visualize when something is um, uh, a lot more conservative. Just put it that way. Walk up basement. You know, it's, it's an okay property here. I think it looks like an unfinished basement. So... You do have a little bit of work there. 435, as I've shown, there's a couple other properties that are in the lower fours, 425 and below, without uh, the finished basement. So I think that you have you can kind of take your pick a little bit in that price range with the three bedrooms anyway. 14541 Kentish Fire Street Villages Place at Gainesville, 309,000 townhome. It was built in 2007. Three bedrooms, two full baths, two half baths. It says that it's in model condition. Um, brick and siding, 1,600 square feet. We'll go through the pictures here. It looks like a two-car rear garage on this one here's carpet on the interior hardwood floors throughout that main level which is very nice let's see here uh, looks like a three-sided fireplace that leads through over to the kitchen area granite countertops looks very clean not you know not uh, there's not much paint on the walls so it looks kind of plain Jane um, but I think that overall, I think the floor plan is pretty nice. Um, rooms are a little bit small. There's a little balcony area, deck area off the back of the house with a two-car garage. I think that's a big selling point to have the two-car garage on these townhomes. 309 sales price. I think it's right in line with the other ones that are selling there. Last one, 16131 Hinman Places in South Market, 544,900, almost 4,500 square feet, four bedrooms, two and a half baths. Um, we've got obviously vinyl siding, two car garage here from the exterior. It's over a third of an acre, so it's a good sized lot as well. Um, as you can see here, there's no deck or patio and it's kind of a sloped backyard. Uh, so that's something that, you know, some people may not like. It's not too bad slope, but it's, you know, a little bit of work there. Brazilian cherry when you come in, um, carpet going up the stairs. Here's the kitchen. I'm trying to figure out, let's see if it says, it doesn't say, I can't tell if that's granite or formica or corian from the pictures because it's a little fuzzy, so I'm not going to guess, but it looks kind of like granite to me. Uh, cherry cabinetry as well, You've got a sunroom extension off there, and there's a family room on the back side. Fireplace in the family room as well. This was built in 2009, so it's only five years young. Um... South Market's a great neighborhood as well. Nice tray ceiling there. Looks like they've definitely you know kept this house up. Um, I think it shows very well. 3,100 square feet above grade, and then a walk-up basement, as you can see there. Uh, play area for kids are using that downstairs. Great curb appeal as well, so I like this one. Um, definitely keep this one on the list. So that's all we got for today, guys. Like to schedule showings, give us a call. 703-596-0011 or as always through the website at GainesvilleHomesDaily.com. Don't forget to request your free copy of the book 
at getfreebook4charity.com. We'll also include that in the email so that you can click the link um, and head on over there. Have a great weekend. We'll be back with you on Monday.